the part b of this question so they have given a graph and speed against time speed time graph for a train after 100 seconds the train stops at this station so here they have written here so uh, here they have asked part one question so we can see the part one question is this for the time interval between 40 seconds and 100 seconds calculate the distance traveled by the train so they have asked distance so for finding the distance so here we can see uh, one triangle is formed here between 40 seconds and 100 seconds so here between 40 and 100 so here area under this triangle will give the distance traveled here so this is the triangle that is formed so we will name the triangle as ABC so area of the triangle ABC will give the answer so area of triangle ABC equals to distance traveled equals to half into base into height so half into BC into AB so BC distance of BC as you can see here so it is so length BC so length half into length BC so length BC equals to 100 and this is 40 so full length is 100 and till here it is 40 so 100 minus 40 so 100 minus 40 ok this and into height height directly is 25 so we will calculate here 100 minus 40 here equals to 60 so half into 60 into 25 so let's calculate this on the calculator so I got 750 meters height as 750 meters so here there was a train stops for 80 seconds then accelerates to 30 meters per second 30 meters per second with an acceleration of 0.6 meters per second square it then travels con with a constant speed complete the graph for the interval 100 seconds to 280 seconds showing your calculation in the space below so we will calculate this part also so we have to complete the graph here they have written so let's see here so if till uh, 80 seconds the train stops for 80 seconds so stops means it will coincide with x axis so this is the x axis so this line will coincide because it is not moving so it will coincide with the x axis till 80 so 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 170 180 so till here 10 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so till here it will be like this till 180 so it will be like this till 180 it will coincide with the x axis okay. so this is the answer so uh, it will coincide with x axis that we have done till 180 then further we, we have to find out the acceleration and complete the graph so acceleration we want to find out so till 180 it is 0 so this is coinciding here so 0 ok 0 meters per second with the speed of 0 meters per second now further we want to find acceleration so acceleration equals to change in velocity upon time means v minus u upon t so final velocity and acceleration they have given here as in this question they have given as 0.6 so 0.6 meters per second square equals to so in speed so speed they have given as 30 meters per second square 30 meters per second sorry and uh, uh, initial speed because it is starting from rest again means it was on the x axis only so it is 0 upon time so time we want to find out so we will calculate the equation here so time equals to 30 upon 0.6 so let's calculate on the calculator so it is coming 50 seconds 50 second is the answer we got the time here so here uh, we can see here so uh, till here so we can write till 180 
बिकॉज फ्रॉम वन एटी स्टार्टेड ना टिल वन एटी टू फिफ्टी मीन्स प्लस फिफ्टी इट विल गिव द टाइम यर एट वॉट स्पीड इट इज एक्सीटिंग सो एट वॉट स्पीड इट इज एक्सीटिंग सो दैट वी विल गेट सो वन एटी प्लस फिफ्टी सो इक्व टू टू थर्टी सेकेंड्स सो टिल टू थर्टी सेकेंड्स सो इट विल एक्सीट एट थर्टी मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो फ्रॉम वन एटी टू फिफ्टी सो टू थर्टी सो एट वन एटी वन नाइंटी इन द ग्राफ वी विल सी सो वन एटी हेयर वन नाइंटी हेयर टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन हेयर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हेयर टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी हेयर ओके टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी हेयर बिफोर दिस सो टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सो टिल हेयर इट विल एक्सीट सो दैट वी हैव टू मेक दिस एक्सीलरेशन हेयर ग्राफ वी हैव टू स्केच इट टिल हेयर टू थर्टी सो टू थर्टी मीन्स हेयर टू हेयर टेक दिस हेयर अप सो टिल हेयर इट इज गोइंग this so this means we have to make a line till here and this we can rub just for showing it i was putting so this means this is the here and select the 180 from 180 to here so this is there then after 230 So after 230 till 280, so it will move at a constant speed. So this is there. So this is the graph. So in this way we will get the answer. So 232, 280, it will move at a constant speed.